Hello everyone, Akash here. As we age, we become more concerned about our lapse of memories. I'll go through 13 different ways in this video that you could exercise your brain. As older we get, more likely we are to experience decreased memory and increased in confusion. 15 to 20 percent adult over 65 more likely experience some kind of depression. Also 14 percent of adult over 65 experience dementia and Alzheimer. What's worse is that people over 65 less likely to be diagnosed and treated for mental health issues. So number one would be your mental health. Recent research offer new ways to keep your brain healthy like crying or chewing gums boost level of oxygen to your brain. Also meditation technique such as visualization and deep breathing, ease stress and deeper focus, lower blood pressure and increase your oxygen flow and slow your heartbeat. Also asking question and debating both force to focus your mind and think quickly. Also taking a vacation where foreign language is spoken especially encourage your brain to work harder and in different ways. Also when it comes to your brain there is many different free apps you will find to train your brain to be happier. Number two will be physical wellness. Exercise increase oxygen rich blood cell that nourish the brain. Nerve cell and connection between brain cells. Maximize your benefit exercise daily would be huge benefit to your brain. Number three would be intellectual study shown people with a higher education less likely develop dementia or other cognitive disorder. However, playing a brain training games, also playing specific type of video game, learning new skills should help. Number four is my favorite healthy diet. Poor nutrition has been a factor in developing dementia, depression, and anxiety. Mediterranean diet is really helpful, reduce chance of dementia. So eat right food to stay safe. That also will help you to have a healthy lifestyle. Number five would be beware of head injury. Even minor head injury like concussion can lead you to increase risk of dementia and cognitive impairment. Number six would be getting regular sleep. It's very important for your brain to get the deep sleep. It doesn't matter when you sleep, make sure you get six to eight hours of deep sleep within 24 hours. Number seven would be smoking cigarette. Nicotine in cigarette, you might have a short term positive effect on your brain function. However, other ingredients in cigarette do the opposite. Many studies show cigarette will do more harm than good. And you could have many other health issues by smoking cigarette. Number eight would be excessive alcohol abuse has been linked to dementia. On other hand, moderate alcohol use linked to decreased risk of dementia. So having the right balance is very important. Number nine would be aspirin. There is many studies show that use of low dose of aspirin and other anti-inflammatory drugs may reduce the risk of dementia 10 to 55%. Number 10 would be blood pressure. High blood pressure not only could decline your brain function, many other health issues you will go through because of having high blood pressure. So monitoring your high blood pressure daily is very important. Number 11 would be blood sugar and diabetes is another risk factor for dementia. However, if you could control your blood sugar level, less likely you will develop dementia. Number 12 will be socializing. Strong social ties with your family, friends and loved ones lower your risk of depression, anxiety and dementia. So it's very important to have a strong social ties. Number 13 would be caffeine. Caffeine can reduce cognitive decline associated with aging by improving performing drawing complex tasks requiring sustained attention. Caffeine could cause many other health issues so always check your daily caffeine intake. My personal advice to you do not drink coffee in the evening more caffeine in your body less likely you're going to get deep sleep at night that could lead you to many health issues. So hope this video was helpful to you. Many great videos you'll find in my channel. Not only good life tip, money saving tip, many other videos you'll find. Consider subscribe to my channel. Take care.